hello my friends and welcome in this video i'm going to publish some of the videos on my online course how to create android apps with ionic framework and monetize with google admob okay so i just wanted you to have access to some of the content i'm also going to leave a link in the description if you check down you're going to see a link and a coupon code that you can use to um, register and get the course for less than ten dollars okay all right thank you so much and enjoy the video now we're going to look at the icons okay so this is um, an example of an icon so you see a, um, this house here this house icon so but ionic framework has like its own um, icon pack okay so that's what i actually put here i said see all icons so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this and it will open in a new tab and show me all of the ionic icons okay so you see good number of icons here right and then the even three um three you know display for the icons the first is outline which is what you see here now I'll click on field and you see that it's you know changes the layout or the orientation of the icon and the last is sharp so there's a slight change so let me just do that and sharp okay so but i'm just going to go with field i think field is better that's what i use basically so now what i'm going to do is let's come back to our toolkit and i'm going to copy our icon code and let's just let's just minimize um reduce the size here now I would like to place my icon above this text okay inside of my card component i don't want to create a fresh um card component for the icon i just want to put it somewhere here okay so because really when you start building apps you're not going to be creating new card components ion card components for everything you do okay so um this is the one we have at the bottom here so you see the image and you see the image here the button and this is the button so basically i'll just come above the text right and then i'll paste in my icon and then i'll save so let's just wait and see and i'm going to scroll down and as you can see we have an icon of a house so let's come back to uh visual studio code and see so you see this name here which is set to home this is the name of the icon so what, what we'll do right now is we're going to go to the ionic icons page right this is it right here and we're going to select another icon so just anything so let me just select this one and when you click on it right you will see um this code at the bottom i hope it's clear maybe i should just you know make this bigger so we can actually see it very well so you see this code at the bottom so let me click on another one and you see that it changes now it's bar charts at the bottom let me click on another one yet now it's ban okay so the name of the icon is actually reflected here so basically any icon you want to use from the ionic icon pack all you just need to do is to click on it so let me click on this one one more time and this one says archive a r c h i v e so i would minimize this i'll come and change the name of my own icon here to archive okay let's save and let's go back to our app so basically you see that the icon has changed to the archive icon we saw on the ionic icons um pack okay so basically this simply means that you can use all any of the icons that are available in ionic okay so um there's actually no need for me to use another one because you've seen how it works but let me just do this one so this is thumbs hyphen up that's the name so i'll just come here and change the name here to thumbs hyphen up and then i'll save let's go back to our app and allow it to load or to reload and as you can see you see we have the thumbs up icon okay so let me come back to this guy here 
Now, remember that we can set attributes for different ionic components. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump ahead of myself and set a color attribute for this icon here. Okay, so I'll go up and I'll just look for the color um, component here. And then I would just like to show you the color component. So these are the different colors that comes predefined in Ionic. And their color names are written on top. So this is primary, secondary, tertiary, and so on. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this color primary here. Okay. So essentially you can change what is the value. So I can change this primary now to maybe danger if I want it to be this color. Right. So I'll just minimize this or reduce the size and inside of my icon here i'm just going to come to the end here give a space and paste in color primary and then i'll save let's see what happens so if i scroll down you see that the color of the icon has changed all right so let me change this primary to danger Okay, you know we saw the color danger. It looks something close to red. So let's watch and see what happens when we do that. And as you can see, we have a red icon. So basically that's how you can incorporate icons and even customize them inside of your Ionic app. Thank you so much for watching this lecture. See you in the next one.